early, right now. This is one of the cars. Go machine or motor. Ili rusho da iyo explosion. Ika vata ni. But your mom go there was no body inside. Yeah, hello guys. And of course, it's the one and only Dalmas Viola, aka Madam Petimo in the house. Guys, karibuni sana hapa mtembei TV. Tumefika hapa mbapo kulikuwa na msiba. Habari yako? Kwa majina unaitwa nani? Maybe you give us an update on to brief kwa uh, kwa kitu ambayo imefanyika huku leo. Haya, mimi ni mkazi wa huku. Na kwa ile ambayo imefanyika tumehuzunika sana kwa hicho kisanga juu watu wengi wako kwa hizi manyumba. Mwili bado hatazijatolewa. Tunahuzunika juu watu wamepoteza makao, watoto wajaenda shule. Makao imepotea kabisa nyumba zimechomeka mali imechomeka. Lakini tunaomba tu serikali ikuje ingilie kati hata kama Kenya kwanza imekuja lakini tunaomba baba penye yako akuje aokoe watu hawana makao hata kama watapewa mattress na blanket lakini hawana mpaja hata wajatengewa mahali pa kwenda kukaa so tunaomba tu baba penye huko kuje uingilie kati usaidie wananchi watu wako homeless kabisa na wengi wamapoteza maisha mili zimejaa kwa hiyo nyumba hata tujui tunaanzia wapi na ni uzuni sana kwa kwa area yetu ya Bakasi pia kwa wana Kenya tunahuzunika kama wazazi. Okay kwa wale ambao wamefiwa una, wameweza kutoka nje na kusema kuwa wamepata msiba. So kwa kuna wengi tumeshuhudia na malusi na huku nje wameweza kuchomeka wengine hata to extent wameshughulikiwa lakini tunataka serikali ishughulikie kabisa mpaka wa recover. Okay, tumeona hapa deputy president ameweza kufika amewaahidi kuwa kuna wenye wanaenda kuwa compensated ama baada mjaweza kupata habari vile watafanya deputy president amesema wanaenda kukuwa compensated wanaenda kupewa wamepewa mattress already na blanket ya kula wamesema iko njiani na kuja lakini tunaomba watafutiwa mahali watengewe mahali penye wataenda kujikinga hii wakati huu wa msiba jo hawana makao wamepewa hizo vitu lakini hatujui wanaenda kulala wapi Okay unadhani kwa hii kitendo ambayo imefanyika imefanyika due to negligence ama tunaweza sema like it's a corrupt government. So tunasema hiyo ni negligence kwa wale wanasimamianga hizo garage pia serikali inafaa wanaangalia before hii kitu imekuwa ikirun na wanasema ilikuwa imebaniwa. So tunataka kujiuliza ilikuwa na run aje na ilikuwa na license. So mbona vile walifunga wako ifunga kabisa? Hapo ilikuwa negligence. Hiyo ni serikali inafaa ichunguza hiyo maneno. Okay kuna wale ambao walipatwa na msiba na hawajapata hawajaweza uh, kupata chakula hadi sasa hivi. Je, unaweza sema nini kwa hayo? So mimi nasema kuna watu wale wako homeless, wale wamebaniwa, wale wamechomekewa na wale wamefiwa. Hawajapata any food hata maji mpaka saa hii. Okay, uh, tujaona bado Raila hajafika na umemuulizia sana. Maybe uweze kutuma ujumbe na uongee na rais kidogo. So mimi naomba tu baba penye huko tunakupenda we ndio kila kitu kwetu hii ni stronghold yako tunaomba baba penye huko ukaweza kututafuta ukaweza kufika ukaweza kutusaidia kushika mkono tushike hao wenye wameathiriwa mkono okay asante sana so na wale wameumia tunawaambia quick recovery poleni sana Mungu yuko atawatetea mkae kwa Mungu na Mungu atatutetea Mungu ndio kila kitu sawa asante sana mimi naomba kwa hii government hapa ni garage hata mimi ni mmoja garage hapo tunafanya hapo kama wamejua hiyo kazi na wanakuja na subaru zao kwa sababu wangejua mapema hapo hii maneno kama hizo wangemaliza you government wana kujanga hapo hata bit you president ameongea kwa hivyo kitu kama hiyo wangesoea mapema mimi mmoja ni makani kwa hii kazi tunafanya kwa hivyo hata sisi tungekupa huko ndani wale wanatukota pesa hapo ndani hii subaru ni ya nini kwa hivyo hii serikali lazima wafuate wale wa nitai tu tunajua hata magari wale wanakuja hapo hii yeah. barabara ni street hii wana hizo masubaru tunalala hapo yeah. si wangekufa hata huko ndani yeah. sasa hiyo ndio maneno niko nayo wacha wa, 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 pesa hiyo ndio maneno mimi niko nayo ni, ni wabaya kuna government yeah. Okay maybe uweze kutueleza uh, tukio ambayo imefanyika. Nilikuwa jana usiku wa satano nikapiga kuna moto kubwa ikatoka ikaanza kungusha tu kwa moyo. Nililipuka ilikuwa ni kama ndrama. Hadi watu wakasema 
mwote kama Yesu anarudi. Mwote ni paa juu kwa juu. Hadi mwangazi jeo nekana. Watu ingo lichomeka, but sami wanaombea tupole kwa familia mbeo walio walio pata yu msiba wandele kwa mboleza. Namiza taka ni gava yetu kiyo kama hiki fanyika wakua ya kuwanza ni heru saidizi kuwa ya kuwanza. Jana karibu masa moja hivi ndo madae ndo zima mwote leingia na kathalika. So, in case of safety kukue fast ku apia kesi nilitweza kukunguza madhara mwote huko na ujumbe gani ambao ungependa sana kutekeleza uh, kufikishia sakaja na MCA wa hapa na babu wa wino kama MP okay ujumbe ni hizi makampuni za gesi za nini azifai kukapa moja na residential area ya kuna kwa nza ishi hiyo ni yatari sana ya sante sana Mimi ni Bernard Mteshi, community health promoter, aviation unit. At the same time, we are a community leader, kama elder, village elder, kama nyubakumi, chairman, kwa hii area. Nasike uchungu, sababu, nimeweza kupoteza household wangu mmoja, nikienda, nikaumia mi mwenye, nikienda kufanya umuokoa, abibi, kwa moja na mtoto, na jamaa. Aa, Nimeumia upande wa pacha nangu Upande wa shafu nangu na kushoto Nijenda kusave life Nasikia uchungu sana sababu mutu wa mepoteza maisha Akiwa kwa nikono yangu Household yangu Ani na Bodhi Na mtoto wake Charles Macharia Niko na usuni sana Na itaji hata mimi Nipeo ushauri na saha kama community health wako sababu naona hizo vitu zina zinanikujia kwa macho wale watu tulikuwa tuna save mapaki ya ngozi na paki kwa mkono tunaweka kwa gari tunapeleka mama lusi alafu close friends wangu wameweza kutomeka vile vile uh, vibaya asanteni ni nini una, uh, uh, ungependa serikali ifanyie watu ambao uh, wameshikwa na tukio hiyo ami binafsi na mimi kama community leader kama kama CHP ningependelea kitu ya kwanza ah hiyo kampuni ambayo inatengeneza kazi na kurifil iweza kutolewa penye kuna umadi ama penye kuna wananchi yaamishwe mara moja kitu ya pili ah ningependa serikali iweze kusaidia sababu watu wamechomekea manyumba watu wamekuwa displaced wadu wa mesafoket madawa iletwe hii facility yetu at the same time wa watu wa red cross unaenda pale wanakupea panado peke yake watu wa mechomekia minge omba ya kuamba madawa siletwe kambi wetu wapa karibu siku tanu siku ine ndiyo at least watu wa wese kutibiwa na watu wa pea msaada ya lishe at the same time watu wa silale inje kwa bariti kwa wese kwekewa kambi Okay, Deputy President hametoka kutoka hapa sasa hivi na mawaidi kuwa mitu mtaweza kupata usaidizi. Je, unadhani serikali naenda kutekeleza hayo? Sometimes zibina kuanga vitanda wili. Zinaongewa huko juu na ground mamba ina kuwa different. Mara mingi, sisi kama community leaders ndio huwa tunatembelea households. Wakubu wako ofisini, Deputy President wako ofisini, sisi ndio duko ground. Ground mambo ni different na vile natamuku wa kwa TV, kwa radio na kwa social media. Ground ina kuanga always tafauti. Kwa mfano, mambo ya shule. Inaongewa huko school fees inalipwa, huku watu wanalia. Kwa hivyo, tungependa itekelesu. Vile Deputy President ya nasema, iwe hivyo. Iziwe, inaishia huko juu ama inaishia pale katika ifike girao ifike ground 
Okay, do you think that whatever happened is due to negligence or it's already corruption? Uh, this is totally corruption because uh, I think uh, county bosses, especially people like uh, the office of MCA, uh, they might be have known the owner of the how do you call it? The factory. Yeah. And they have, they, have, they have been given some little money in their pockets and so that they, they have looked aside. I think I'm not good in, in, in English. No problem, just. Uh, <laughs> I don't English. Any, any. And I'm how our to our county, especially my ward managers, na same area MCS. Lazima wame wamejua, wamejua hii tukio sababu hiki hi kitu imewahi fungwa na sijui ilikuja aja ikafunguliwa imewahi fungwa mara ya kwanza uh, ikakuja ikafunguliwa na sasa tunasikia na operate during night hours uh, tuna ufahamu sana lakini tunasikia tu na operate during night hours na vile ilifunguliwa hatujui kwa hivyo kuna pesa zinatolewa hapa zinaenda kwa mifuko ya watu binafsi so that waidhinishe Eh, uhalali wa hao watu kuuza gas pale hiyo ni kulingana na mimi okay. yeah. maybe uweze kutuma ujunge kwa government uongee na president mto kwa tukio haya ambayo yamefanyika mimi nataka follow up ifanywe eh, mwenye mwenye ame, mwenye hiyo mwenye hiyo kampuni ashikwe a compensate wale watu ambao ni waathiriwa vile vile wale wale ni wagonjwa at least wengine hata walipiwa nyumba at least miezi tatu mbele okay asante sana okay um kunjo mzungu sasa haya okay i'm enrique kibet mwasa i'm bakasi is youth leader first and foremost i want to thank my deputy party leader uh deputy president uh dashago for coming to kuomboleza na na, na wale watu wamefiwa Yeah, so one thing, the government. I want to state the government is with the uh, with the people who who wala litomekewa. Like to ingine, this blame goes to Epra, the Energy, and uh, Nema. Those people who gave license to this uh, doodle doodle. Uh, it's called doodle uh, gas depot. And on a far kuchukuliwa tour. And we are going to demonstrate. We will mobilize people to demonstrate to fungi eastern bypass. Adia watu wakwe wa resign. I'm going yeah. to apologize. Yeah. Yeah. Mkugu wa Nema. Because he just depot lazima Nema yandikio barua ya Nema. Lazima yandikio barua ya Epra. Yeah. Awa watu wanasimamizo energies. Energy regulations. O lazima wa resign. Kwa kupatana license kwa hii gas yeko kwa residential area this are residential area and this gas plant should not be here this, there are three gas plants zimebaki kuna moja hapa kuna ingine Tel Aviv tutaomba iweze ifungwe with immediate effect that's what i want to say na wale watu wamechomekewa pole i want to thank our area mp babu wino area mca uh, patrick karani was here immediately uh, mbakasi ward uh, mca alikuwa hapa amepatiana hall pale hivyo wale wamefiwa uh, Ricardo Nyantika wale wale wamekosa manyumba watalala pale hivyo kwa hall social, social hall bado tumeongea na I, I, aviation pole aviation na makanisa kadha kadha ndo wale wamechomekea vile wanatafuta namna wala, wala, walale hapo babu wino ame promise kuleta mbao mabati kwa hizo manyumba za mabati to reconstruction yanze haraka wa, wa, maisha irudi normal wale wamelemewa kabisa tuliwabeba asubuhi tukawapeleka hadi kwa mama, mama Lucy babu alikuwa wabeba na gari yake mwenyewe na area MCA so tunataka kuwashukuru kwa hiyo roho ya kuja kuwa na watu na kuomboleza but what we want is action to be taken we will not be we will not keep quiet until those people resign and then about uh, sakaja i want to tell you one thing hizi gari zako za kuzima moto na zileta hapa bila maji ya kutosha Watu walitusaidia sana ni watu wa G4S, watu wa GSU, airport na the army. We gari yako unakuja hapa imekuja 30 minutes late, 40 minutes late and you are the one who tulikuchagua. Ukiendelea hivi hata kama ni mtu wa Kenya kwanza, naona ukienda one time. Hata amalizi. Unaona ukienda one time, hawa sisi tu demonstrate 
we want your presence here we we tunasikia ati umeenda South Africa unaenda South Africa leo ni birthday yako birthday yako hata usijaona kama umepost chochote kwa social media kuomboleza na watu wa mradi jana usiku tukiwa na area MCA party karani tunapiga simu mpaka kwa county secretary ashiki simu zetu to, we are so mad with you. We want another station, a fire station, up in the Mbakasi village, up in Radi. Ile to ya apa, kwa sababu kila saa kuna shina kukichomeka. Sweet waters kulichomeka last month. Gari inakuja bila maji. Mnakuja kufanya nini basi? Kupiga kipindi ndo muende. Ati mupige picha mulikuwa site na muenda. Sazile watu wamechomekea, sazile watu wamekufa. Tavadhali, our able governor Sakaja. Please look into that. Thank you. Okay.